Hey, welcome to this Cold Waters gameplay video. If you love Cold Waters, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Cold Waters. Now, we're going to get back into our North Atlantic 1984 campaign with the imaginary USS Stingray. That looks a lot like a Soviet Kilo. It is one mean motor scooter. I mean, I feel like I'm cheating when I play with this sucker. It's, it's, I, mean, I got elite difficulty going here, and this thing is just really, it, it's sweet. But you know, that being said, once you get in shallow water, uh, uh, it's real easy to die. It's real easy to die. So you never know. <clears throat> you never know. I could go down any time now, and then you get to see it happen. So what do you say we jump in there? Okay, we're sitting up there. Let's take a look at the brief. Oh, quick with us. Seven. Uh, seven hull torpedoes. Review orders. Uh, Spetsnaz. Torshaven. Uh, that's a pretty straightforward mission right about here. So we're going to jump right in and get after it. But before we do, it's time again for the YouTube ritual, which is I sit here at 619 in the evening and spend part of my day making videos. And you, if you like the video, you subscribe, like, share, and comment. Okay, that seems pretty simple. I do this, you do that, if you like it, and off we go, and then we get into the game right now. But one last thing, if you love this stuff more than just about anything, and you want to show me what a great guy I am, yeah, that sounded really weird, didn't it? <laughs> and you can buy me a cup of coffee, there's a link in the description. All right, we are off and running for the Pharaohs. I've been playing this game, what, two years now? It just don't get better. I mean, it's just such a fun thing. It, it, it's not, in some ways, not nearly as exciting as it was at first because, well, quite honestly, it was a lot easier to die at first. Uh, somebody in the comments just recently told me, uh, I finally decided to buy the game and I'm going to get it. And I thought, that's awesome. Be ready to... to die a lot <laughs> until you pick up on a couple of tricks and you, your fingers start knowing what to do without uh, having to think about it too much and where is my target while well, I'm just going on and on and on uh, if any of Fair, Fair Islands ah okay well here boy here boy here come on come on come on little submarine anyway like I said it's, it's it, if you if you never played and you decide to pick it up and play uh, you, you should expect to die a lot but there's a lot of good videos out there I might even have one or two that uh, you can learn a bunch from and, and we go I think that's probably our target and, and quite honestly yeah there's there's nothing else I can say about this except you got to go watch some of uh, Jive Turkey's early stuff where uh, he he quite explicitly has videos that show you how to do certain things and that's what I did I don't know I just won't lie I, I'm I'm I, I'm a child of the jive as far as learning how to play I wish I knew how to make videos as good as he does I haven't caught on to that yet he's still a man okay we're looking good exo status report we don't need that if we're going after submarines, we'll go ahead and give ourselves an extra decoy, and uh, let's go. Let's get real quiet. I love me some deep water, 1,880 feet. We are not ballasted up, which I do occasionally. We've got Sierra 1 to listen to. Uh, I got a feeling that's something on the surface. Let's go to 4-4 four, four feet, dive I. Uh, da, 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 da. How we get? Four, four feet, dive by. Okay. Well, I thought maybe I'd work this out before we get to that point, but yeah. Well, yeah. I think that's a blue whale. Com sonar. 
But as long as we're up here. As long as we're up here. Lower the ESM mast. Raise the radar mast. Yeah. Lower the radar mast. Oh, there's something over there. That's interesting. But that's not going to be what we're after. Uh, 107 dB. I could set off a nuclear depth charge and you might not hear this. Okay, all right. Let's uh, start easing our way down and singing our song. In fact, just make it a hundred feet. Whoa! I heard. Yeah, there we go. Somebody. Somebody close. Has put a weapon in the water and is doing some more of it to boot. Yes. Huh? It's kind of interesting that I've got guys blasting. Con, dive at one, zero, zero feet, dive well, go ahead. R2 worries me. I could easily kill it. And these guys have got torpedoes off and running. They don't have they're 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 not singing anymore. There we go. I fear for the health of R2. But there are the torpedoes coming our way. We're gonna get that one active. We're gonna light it up. We're going to cut it loose. And we're going to bail. Yeah, I know we're cavitating. Because we've got close-in torpedoes. I mean, we're making enough racket with the... Passing 200 feet. With the cavitation. Passing 300 we're going to be in some serious evasion if I don't get deep fast. Feet. One, two, three, four, five. Feet. Con sonar, no longer uh, deep, 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 deep. Passing 700 feet. Real deep. Passing 800 feet. Real deep. Passing 900 feet. Passing 1,000 feet. All right, we can start. Passing 1,100 feet. There we go. We're really too deep now. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. But that's what it's going to take to uh, maybe not get picked up by these guys when they enable. This guy's making 31 knots already. Lots of bad guys. And just my one poor little well I see those three Con, Con maneuvering, making turns. ah that one's circling I know one thing somebody's excited over there I see that there's a noisemaker in the water Somebody may be dead. Yeah, he's already dead. Yeah. Never even, uh, we just killed him. Alright. Sucker's a deep diver. Agile as it can be. We still got torpedoes heading our way. Probably wisdom says 
keep running for a little bit. If I slow down, this guy just might get a look down at me. And that would be awkward. I might have to use my left hand and dance. And uh, the best evasion is the evasion you don't have to do. You just kind of just kind of go deep and run and get out of the way. I suspect there's another bad guy out here. There almost always is. And uh, we got one of those guys. Doesn't mean we got them both. And uh, yeah, let's see. Lordy, lordy, lordy. What do you see? We're just slipping away. And that's how that's done. That's how that's done. Alright. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Let's let this puppy slow down. Con sonar new contact bearing. One, nine, one. Designated Sierra three. The torpedoes are busted all over the place. I see a Sierra four. How about a Sierra three? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's something on the surface. Can't be sure, but I think that's something on the surface. Alright, I think the thing to do is start singing again. Let's get in there and take a look. Con sonar, switching to active search. Talk to me, bad guys. I know you're out there. Well, maybe not. Got a lot of weapons still in the area. And they're too close for us to get away with, uh, getting out. Oh, it still says we have... Oh, it's weapons. Okay, weapons nearby. I get. Con sonar. Switching the passive search. Well. Boom, boom, boom. We'll take one last... One last try at this. Con sonar. Switching to active search. They usually come in pairs on these, uh... commando missions. Nobody seems to care. Con sonar, switching the passive all right, we'll quit wasting our time. We either got them all or we didn't. Yep, we've got a Foxtrot sunk. Excellent performance. Well, like, just because they usually come in pairs doesn't mean they always come in pairs. Uh, enemy at sea replenishment tankers, including one or two of these spectacular for romance for a rendezvous near the Greenland Sea. Uh. Uh. Well, six torpedoes ought to be plenty. So, we just hope we don't run into anything between here and there that makes us eat up a bunch of weapons. Just get up here and see if we can bushwhack us. Speaking of, oops, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Speaking of bushwhacking, let's, uh, Yeah, let's load a harpoon. Ah, no! I'm not interested in fighting you. That's who I want, right there. If I had a dozen weapons, yeah, sure, let's take on the, the uh, submarines too. All right. On sonar, new contact bearing to rig ship for ultra quiet. Uh, 95 dB. That's reasonably sonar, quiet. All right, Sierra Two is at one nine four. Sonar new contact bearing one nine. Set this four. thing right up here to Sierra. about. Con, dive at four, four, feet, 
Okay. All right. All right, we're up where we want to be. Let's go. This is always dangerous. Throwing the scope up is dangerous, but it's fun. I, I just start. Look at that. Look at that. Con sonar, Sierra 4 is cavitating. And there ought to be somebody over there. Or I could be wrong. Well, Sierra 4 is at 244. I've got this scope up far too long. All right. Down scope. And there may be Huh, well, Let's, uh, real quick, I'm kind of surprised they haven't started dropping things on us, given the amount of time I spent with that Constar scope above the, is classified as oh, there's our target right there, a Don, Constar may not be, but it's, that's close enough, as I think that's not a bad guy at all. And I think that is possibly a Riga. Con sonar Sierra One is classified as escort. All right, that caching is at nine thousand yards. Huh. Well, it'd be nice if I had a little bit better. Come left to one five two. A little bit better feel for the dawn. Cash is making eight knots. Uh, he, uh, I guess his sonar, sonar lost contact. his radar did Last not pick two, up on me. One nine five. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra four bearing two. Up scope. Uh, whoa, that's. Right there, huh? Last bearing two, one, two. Contact faded. Yep. Okay. I just didn't see it before. Just didn't see it before. Well, we got these guys locked up. Shoot. Shoot. Go down a little deeper. We're outside of RBU range, which is a great comfort. And I don't think the caching can hurl anything at us that would be... Yeah. He can put torpedoes in the water, which are relatively easy to evade. RBUs, that's just unpleasant. Kind of interesting that really and truly I'm more afraid of what are basically old-fashioned uh, old-fashioned ASW mortars and not really mortars but yeah bomb slingers how about that what if I say bomb slingers I find those pretty bloody terrifying Con, fire control, weapon acquired. we knock off the caching we may stick our nose up and maybe see if we can Harpoon the uh, Riga. Assuming it, I'm not in the midst of. We're going back up. Should have stayed up there to begin with. We'll have a, we'll have a moment or two. If he puts, yeah, he's got a weapon in the water. So we're gonna have to take this seriously. He's got a couple of weapons in the water. 
but no decoys which means he is toast alright real quick we can get that and We gotta, we're going to have to get moving here in a second. This is going to be interesting. Raise the radar mast. And shoot two, three. Shoot two, three. And light him up. And I think it would be wise to dive away. Well, how are we going to do? Passing 100 feet. Con, helm, steady course. And our weapon's doing its terminal Passing evasion. It's real dark, hard to see. Con, sonar. Passing 300 feet. There goes the... There goes the Passing Ugra. Well, will we get anywhere? Passing 500 feet. With the harpoon. Con, a baby. Passing 700 feet. Passing 800 feet. Passing 900 feet. And we've got one, one, zero, zero, enabled eight, torpedoes. Con, knuckle formed. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Whew! Just made it. Just made it. Get excited. Sometimes a plan works. Thump, thump, thump. There's some shooting for you, pilot. I wonder, is that one diving on us? Con, knuckle formed. Con, sonar, torpedo in the it water. sure is. Well, I guess we better act like we know what we're doing. Con, knuckle formed. All right. Ballast up. Oh, he, he knuckled. Con, knuckle formed. I throw these knuckles down and I can't go through the standard evasion because... The freaking torpedo isn't chasing me anymore. Yeah, I begin to wonder if he's going to see us at all now. He started circling. A couple of knuckles, and they they don't know what they're. I was I was getting ready to do the dance, man. Getting ready to go up and down, and again, that's pretty simple. That's you know, the ballast up, planes up. At about the time you got that accomplished, drop a decoy and just then scream for the surface or scream for shallower water. The trick is to do it once that torpedo gets, oh, I don't know, to drop that decoy when it gets, you know, into here somewhere. Two, I would say two, two submarine lengths, but this sub is so short, maybe three sub lengths. And uh, before you make any significant way up, because you don't want him... It'd be nice if the torpedo wasn't following you up when you ditch the uh, the decoy, and that will often get them circling around, and then you break Con, to the left or the right. Um, I'd say preferably over the torpedo because again, you're trying to stay out of its seeker cone and staying above it directly. Uh, I say seeker cone; it's detection cone. There's a cone. Imaginary cone, a real cone, I guess. That you know, if you're inside that cone, then it'll track you. So turning above him is a ticket. But when you first start playing the game, it's real easy. Vessels nearby. I'm yakking along on what I need to be doing. Make turns four, five, yeah, look, we're getting pings from that direction. 
Well, 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 Sierra 4 was somebody. Weapons in the water. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing two, six, seven. Look at that. And Con fire control weapon acquired. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra four bearing two. Well, this three, is disturbing. Five. Weapon acquired. We were right on top of him. Con sonar noisemaker bearing two two two. That was exciting. I may get to show you after all, because here comes Con a torpedo. Okay, that's a little far out. Right about there, maybe. You know? Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 4. Last bearing 2, 1, 8. Contact breaking up. Look at that. There was a freaking alpha. Okay, I better pay attention because we're getting into where I need to be. <clears throat> he, he did his best to bushwhack us. A little bit closer. Be patient. Be patient. More of them. Okay, ballast up. Planes up. Decoy. Con passing eleven hundred feet. All right, he's he he did not turn for it. Now it's all about going up faster than he can go up, which we have done. All right, he's turning that way. So shall I. And with any luck, Passing 300 feet. Passing 200 down, feet. get that bow down. Passing 100 feet. All right, with any luck, he won't be able to look up and see us, but he might. It would be smart to turn back toward him, but I'm going to turn away. There he is down below us. If he comes back up after you, you just kind of got to go in the other direction. You got to ballast down, planes down. And as the bow starts to dip and he's where you want him, you ditch the decoy. And run for as deep as you think the boat will go. Of course, you need to know the different boats. Uh oh, here he comes. Con, knuckle formed. Different boats. Different depths. Con, knuckle formed. Well, I guess he's coming our way, sorta. I may be knuckling. The knuckles may be throwing him. Oh, that was exciting while it lasted. I'm surprised when he circles that he doesn't see us. There's another torpedo over there somewhere. That torpedo circling. He's gotten lost. He's lost track of us, and he's just going to circle till he pops. And we've got to get through. Just got to open the range. Open the range. Boom. F9. I didn't reload what I wanted there. It's because it's the only thing that we can have. Ooh, we're down let low. We're that low on stuff. All right, it is time to go home. We got them all. That was fun. That was fun. 
and uh, Spetsnaz Hoffen. Okay, well, whatever. The bottom line is, oh no, <laughs> not good. Probably ran into. Probably ran into these submarines that were hunting us before. That's unpleasant. Conditions 91 dB. Ooh, great. We're making 20 knots. And it's relatively quiet. Somebody knows we're here. Well, let's give it a few seconds and see. There we go. Sierra one. Well, I don't know. A tango? As Looks like it. Submarine. Looks like it, don't it? Let's see how serious he is. Pretty serious. Well, that was interesting. What's, what's really interesting is that it just doesn't seem how difficult it often is anyway to get the uh, to get a a real solid active sonar contact. We end up end up shooting down a bearing based on them going active against us. But they seem to need to be, you know, seems that they need to be fairly close for us to uh, actually have a return echo mean something. Uh, we don't have enough weapons to play this game. If he's by himself, we're okay. I'm not seeing any other. Let's light him up. Let's uh, really f put him on the serious. I saw I saw a weapon. And there it is. Ah. Ah. Well, I don't know. Fascinating. All right, we're getting a ping from back here now. I think that tango is no longer where we thought it was. There's a torpedo. Yep. There's the bad guy torpedo. So we're going to do some uh, backtracking on the torpedo. Tango might still be out there. I don't know. This could be an entirely different guy. But what we're going to do is see. We figure out the base course of this torpedo. All the way over to there. Somewhere out here, probably over that away a little bit. All right, we can figure it out here by looking at this. 
So when we intersect that little green Com wiggle, there you go. Zero, three, one, there you go. Two. Got me a weapons officer for sure. 20,000 yards. Not worried about that torpedo. Not a bit. Oops, sis, we found something here. We have found something. Oh, you know, if you're going to come play where the Mark 48s roam, where the Mark 48s are free to do their thing, in an old diesel boat, you can pretty much rest assured that any accomplished, and I think I'm a reasonably accomplished cold waters guy, is going to put you down. Just like that. I want out of here. There was a tango. We did, We, you know, fine. It wasn't what I wanted. Hoffen. Where in the heck is Hoffen? Oh, great. We're not going to have time. We're going to miss that mission, but I want some weapons before I'm... I got down to two or three. I want some extra weapons. Hey, I may be okay at this game, but I ain't worth nothing when I don't have a... Yeah, there's two. <laughs> Not worth nothing. We don't have a full load of... Ah, uh, wait. Ah, uh, wait. Down one. Up one. Come down here. Reload what we want. It looks like a pretty good base. Uh, Hoffen. That's a good thing it's not far from here. It's right up here. We'll go kill us some, uh, some... Oh, 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 there he is. Ah, uh, I think we got him, but we had to move fast to do it. And we may be in deep doo-doo here. Uh, at least we got plenty of water. Yeah, we managed to stay out of the shallows just... What do you got there? What you got? Well, okay. Thought about doing something else, but we'll just step through the submarines real quick. Nope. 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 No. Yeah. Maybe not. I think whiskey. I think whiskey. I wonder if we can do something silly. Well, the problem with shooting an off-bearing shot is we don't have good range information on this whiskey. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can find that. Let's turn. That's much better range information. As deaf as a whiskey is, I was wrong. I was going to say, as deaf as a whiskey is, this will be no problem. We'll just do the offset. Then he, by God, we got to go. Set him up. Reload. Because that guy was really, really close. And we are going to be doing some evasion. Passing 200 feet. Assuming Passing that those things enable feet. before they get here. Which is not a bad Passing guess. Because he's really close. Look at this guy's Passing dancing. Passing con sonar. No longer cavitating. 
Passing 700 feet. Passing 800 feet. Passing 900 feet. All right. Feet. Charge the torpedo. Passing 1,000 feet. Hit the X key to settle everything out. There he is. You can see him. Now, our torpedo is more dangerous than what's above us, so we're going to... Got him. All right, we don't have to worry about that. Awesome. And we don't have to worry about them. Let's get slow. All right. Got five knots on. Let's see if we find anybody else. Has he got a buddy? You know, it's kind of interesting that they that guy really had the range on us. If we had sat there, he knew. He knew. Does not appear to be anybody else. Switching the passive search. And another, another old diesel boat. Be impressed in the service. It was down to litter the bottom of the ocean. Weapons nearby. F nine. Well, they got a long ways to go before uh, before we're free of the. Yeah, let us go. Excellent performance, outstanding. I just can't stand it. It's so good. Okay, we got a medal for that. Distinguished Service Medal. Yeah, the you showed up medal. <laughs> you were there in the war. Okay. Uh, enemy carrier task force preparing to sail from Hermansk. Intelligence estimates it will make a conservative patrol in the vicinity of the Norwegian Sea, perhaps approaching Narvik, before striking out to the Atlantic. You're ordered to intercept destroy this task force. Oh, golly, we're at 43 minutes in, and that's going to be a 10 or 15 minute play, and I just don't have the time for it. I think that's going to be perfect. Just perfect for the next time around. So there you go. Hey, it's Cold Waters Wednesday. We had a good old time. I do appreciate you watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button, and please share and comment. See you again soon.